and he begs and I don't want to take shit. You are grateful for this, you are going to get more. I have not come to play. Is that I get this thing or I get this? Have a relationship with God. Don't go, so they come, barracks remain the same. But are there anyways, like what you gonna do about it? Oh, reverse our trade, I want to pop it down on you right to your face. I know, but I don't know. Like I think this thing is not worth your effort. Do not do it. Like do not start it. Hi guys. What's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Olatini Marvelous and this right here is Mamira. Super super glad to have you on board with me today. If you are seeing my beautiful, 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 beautiful glorious face for the very first time. Hi, my name is Mavi. It is nice to meet you guys. I've not been on YouTube for a while and I've done this intro like 20 times. <laughs> and I still don't know if I've got it right, but nevertheless, can we keep moving? Shall we? Anyways, today is the 28th of September 2023 and I turn 21. <laughs> yeah, I'm 21 years old. Stop playing. I'm legally officially an adult. I love you that 18 years in your adults. You don't know nada. You don't know nothing. So you're 21, you're a baby. Okay? So talk to me with respect. Put some fucking goddamn respect on my name. <laughs> Anyways, and today I'm going to be telling you 21 things I've learned in the past 21 years. So, the number one thing I've learned in my 21 years of existence is that patient is a virtue. And you guys, I learned it that way because. I did vex and I don't want to take shit. I'm not going it's not going like I don't to take shit. I actually do not to take shit. And I I might not I don't might not necessarily fight it too. But like they are stressing me. I'm just like till now I still do it here. But then I know that like there are people that are actually worth it. Do you understand? Like mommy, mommy, you are stressing me, fine babe like me. I'm just going to be like, you know what? Do your day, the Lord will be with you. Amen. And that's the end of us. But now I, I just do it for my chance. I don't know. I mean, like, don't be stupid about it. Do get like, don't don't be stupid about it. But there are things of people that are actually worth fighting for. Do you understand? So like now I just give people more chance. Like I won't say I give people more chance. Just like I give people benefit of doubt. Like I'm more patient, especially when it comes to people I love. Like I'm more patient. I'm like, okay, let's watch this play out. Do you get? Number two is know when to stop this is something i've always known how to do i know they do pass myself i could be telling you a joke and you don't find it funny i'm not even vexing you know. like i'm going to stop <laughs> because do you understand so like just know when to stop when to stop trying just like the first example i gave now that like okay i'm a little more patient now but Regardless, I still know when to stop. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say here, yeah? but like I still know when to stop. I know that okay, this thing actually do not have a future. The person will just do not continue. Do I don't know if you get me, or just know when to stop. When it comes to even your mutual friends, when it comes to platonic friends, romantic friends, any whatever kind of relationship, just know when to stop. Just know when you are not welcome. Like read the room. Do you understand? Number three thing I've learned is whatever is worth doing is worth doing well. I know this sounds so cliche and like you know we heard it again, say something new, but you guys, whatever is worth doing is worth doing well. And I'm not even like I'm not even trying to be a motivational speaker out here. Uh, this is something I honestly did wish I knew early on in my life. You get like if you know this thing is not worth your effort, do not do it. Like do not start it. You know you're not interested in this thing. Don't start it. Or like whatever thing that will make you to start it, do it well. You get just like you're yeah, in school, like you're not really reading, you're not like taking your academics serious. I'm not even trying to be a scholar yet. <laughs> I don't think academic is serious. They are just in school. 
their clothes because they say, I'm not going for the classes. Like, if you know you're going to do this school thing, then do it, make it sure for you. Do you get Like, if you're doing this business thing, do it, make it sure for you. Honestly, this is something, a mistake that I've really did make in my life. And I think earlier in this year, I think began to realize it. People like, are putting in, like, okay, for example, the scale is still 100. And I'm putting in just like 40%. That's because I'm making it to me. Like, bro, the thing that will make you to even start is in the first place. Give it your 100. Do you get Like, give it your 100. Ah, bro. I'd be, I wish I could explain it with it's my heart for you guys. My darling, whatsoever is worth doing, is worth doing. <laughs> the first thing I've learned in my 21 years is people have a relationship with God. Have a relationship with God. Connect with the Creator. I'm not even trying to be all Christian, da, da, da. yes, I'm a Christian, I'm a believer, I am born again. But I'm not even trying to say this from a whatever perspective. Like, you guys have a relationship with God. You see this life thing, you rest assured you cannot do it on your own. Like, I'm not even trying to, you rest assured you cannot do it on your own. So, oh yeah, the brain. <laughs> A relationship with God, and the beautiful thing about having a relationship with God, like be a Christian, be a Muslim, whatever thing, is like I feel like when you believe in something, there's some kind of hope. For example, I'm a Christian, and there's this verse of the Bible I love so much. It says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and every other thing." Shall be added on to you. It's not saying one thing. Now imagine you having a relationship with God and seeking the kingdom of God. And every other thing will just be had like every other thing will be added on to you. Bro, don't sleep on it. Have a relationship with God. Like I can't I cannot over it can't be overemphasized. Like, I can't even overemphasize it. Now you guys, my number five thing is there's no such thing as a singular decision. It's like a chain. I do not I don't know if you get it's like a chain. What I'm trying to say is that for example, there's a situation on ground and I decide to lie. I mean it's just a white lie, a simple lie. Who's gonna know? Hmm? But then I'm going to get caught up in the whole thing and you would have to lie another lie to cover the lie you had initially lied. And because you already guessed this going, you have to finish it and then you keep lying and keep lying and keep lying. And it doesn't just, it's not about lying, it's just about life in general. Now, once you get to your 20s, bro, what am I even saying? Once you are 18, once you are 16, you just, your life is just in your hand. I mean, like, you have people to guide you and all, but there's no such thing. As a single decision, so we are making a decision today. Try to think ahead, <laughs> you guys. Like when you are making a decision today, try to like think of how it's going to affect tomorrow. There's no such thing as I made a single decision. Every decision you are making affects the next decision you have to make or the kind of results you are going to get. The people around you no matter. It's not about number six point. And it's not even. As in, oh, watch your friends, da da da. The environment, the people around you matters. So the people, you know, they are, I mean, there's some people around you that you really didn't choose for them to be there, but they are there anyways. Like, what you gonna do about it? And then there are certain people that you choose them to be around you. I don't even understand what I'm saying. Like, you chose them to be around you around you matter so much that it influences your life and shape you to who you are what you are like maybe not necessarily 100 percent but it does do a very high percentage like people around you matter so much just like sometimes when you evaluate things when you see certain situations the way you react to certain things certain kind of decisions you make depends on the kind of people around you so put the right kind of people around you 
the people that are going to if you know your good you know what i'm working towards the people that are going to make you get there faster for example you're a youtuber they are feeling all big da, 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 and you don't have one youtuber friend and maybe nobody reach out to you first that's fine you see somebody that you feel like you connect with and you guys are good reach out to them first you're not gonna die you know but that way you have a friend that's also a youtuber and it kind of inspire you to be better and you know I have this friend she's a youtuber too and like she's always she's very consistent she posts and because i'm seeing her do these things i want to be better i want to have a very good and flexible schedule that allows me to film video and put them out does it not make sense to you now because i have youtuber around me and i am a youtuber and i want to be a very good youtuber and i see this is my youtuber friend she is growing and she inspires me it makes me want to go so do you get the people around you matter so much academics is your team you want to be the top in your class and they are like 54 out of they are the 54th person out of like maybe 60. i want to move high in rack how to go with someone that also have similar vision oh, you guys i don't know how to explain it but i'm just going to tell you this one that the people around you matter the more you test the higher your chances. Sounds confusing, but let me put it on. For example, we are all reaching towards the goal. I mean, I'm just chilling, I'm just going, like, I, know I want to get there, but I'm not like all that in a hurry. Like, I will get there, but when I have a while at it. And there's my neighbor who also wants to get this thing. And I was like, I've not come to play. Is that I get this thing or I get this thing? You know, now. He is more thirsty for it, like he is more like is it that this or this? But for me, I want it. But I'm like, yeah, I would get it, and like I'm just moving. You know, he has a higher chance of going to get it before me because he's testing for it. Like he wants it. He's testing for it. Like, oh bro, I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but the more you test, the higher your chances. The more zeal you have, the closer you are. If you want to be better, you have to be tasty to be better. Then you get better. You don't just chill and be like, yeah, I'm gonna be better, but like, oh Lord Jesus, please make me better. And Lord Jesus will come down from heaven to make you better. If you're in a long thing, I'm not even playing. You're in a long, you are not in a long thing. The number eight thing I learned my 21 years is. The reward of virtue is virtue. The reward of excellence is excellence. I'm going to the academics for instance. Like I'm reading, you know, doing everything. And my reward is like excellence in academics. And like if you're putting in the good work, you are going to get good results. You get so the reward of virtue is virtue. So if you're expecting good results, you best assure them you are hundred percent putting in good work. I think this is something very cliche, but it says it well. In this year, I just actually got to understand it very well and what it actually do mean when someone say the reward of virtue is virtue. The number nine thing I learned in this year is people will come, people will go. Soja go, soja come, barracks remain the same. <laughs> you guys, that's just. And it's fine. Honestly, it is fine. Like, there's this thing in Yoruba, okay, let me say it in English. It's like, 20 children cannot play together for 20 years. And it's not because, I mean, some people are because they have pride, yeah? but it doesn't necessarily because they have pride. Like, people just grow and get in different directions. My next point is always live with the heart of gratitude. Like, it's very simple. This is the rule. You are grateful for this, you are going to get more. Always put God first. Always put God first. That's my next point. And this can this cannot even be overemphasized, you guys. Like, always put God first. Because it's just like you are thinking of a gig. Put God first. You are thinking of a business, put God's face. You are bound to write a business plan. Like, you just pop in your head. 
You have not write the business plan yet. Is it about to write the business plan? God first. Always put God first. How much you desire is how much you will get. No the deep pass yourself. Okay, guys, this is very explanatory. If you don't know what it means, it means don't go beyond your capacity. Like, do you understand? Like, you know how much you can take, you know your capacity. You do not have to prove anything to anybody. Do you get, you know, they do pass yourself. No incomplete sentence, either from you passing the message or you as a receiver receiving it from someone else. No is a complete sentence if it is not convenient with you it's okay to say no if it's not convenient to them and they tell you no it is absolutely fine no is a complete sentence people will treat you how you treat yourself you treat yourself as a thing it is a subconscious thing people are going to treat you like a queen let me tell you this thing it happened with a group of friends like i was there but you know me i'm quiet i'm just looking at all of them and there are three friends and there is this friend you know because beauty standards are crazy she has like full lips so it's like extremely full so some people actually consider it big lips but she's actually pretty and she's going to come and be like oh my god i found that i look at me she's this star and that and that and that and i call her beautiful she's actually beautiful it's very famous but she let them know way i find that <laughs> And like because of that, like every other person calls her beauty. I don't know how to explain it. And there's this other one, she's actually fine, but she's only finding faults in herself. She's like, ah, so my fupa, this, that. And then her friends are just playing with her and they're like, I mean come for your to belly with a fupa, this, this, that. And you know that it's because she was constantly saying this. I mean, like, even the friends might not know that's why they said it. It's just these things is what you feed your subconscious mind. And I'm sure she fed her subconscious mind to believe it. That is why she even believed it. She started projecting it. And even other people can see her projecting it to herself. I like this girl is gorgeous. She's very beautiful. She's very honest. I don't like to compare beauty because everybody's beauty is different. But if we are two, she's actually beautiful than the other girl that had has for But then because that one would never talk herself down in front of the people. They dare not talk her down. But this other one, you they haven't find because they have pupa. Yeah, she do have pupa. But bro, when the head is start, when the head will finish, why can't I have a head? <laughs> so the way you treat yourself, if you talk highly of yourself, people are going to talk highly of you. And if you talk down at yourself, oh, reverse that they are going to talk down on you right to your face. That's all. My next point is confidence is a mind thing. Your insecurities are in your head. Let me tell you, let's say your insecurities are in your head. For example, to the girl with big stomach. She do have big stomach and she like body all gamble. But obviously, that's not something for her body type. Do you get so she can find something for her body type. But she still do not feel comfortable. Now the reason for this is because the, the problem is not because she has food back. She has big belly. We don't call it big belly. The problem is not because she has big belly. The problem is because in her head, it is a problem she has big belly. So confidence is a mind game. You also have to treat people how you want them to treat you. For example, I have this friend. She's always nice to me, always sweet to me. Oh, hi, Mavi. How are you doing? She randomly checks up on me. Oh, I hope you are doing good. Is everything okay? Hi, school. Da, 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 da. She's so nice to me. It is just a very subconscious thing. Unless you are stupid, of course. But it's just a very subconscious thing that I want to be nice to her. Huh. Another thing that I learned is that now money, if you take five money, ah, you guys, how did I? Like, I knew, but I didn't know. Like, I didn't know, but I didn't really know. So now money, that I take five money, wow, you kids, you guys not tell me. <laughs> Bro. Huh. Now I shot me, Sha. I'm not gonna lie you, bro. Huh. I'm going to explain. That's how I learned my 21 years of existence. Work on yourself. The right people will find you. Quality over quantity. Anytime, any day. 
and quality recognize quality guys i'm sure we do not have up to 21 points yet but i'm honestly just running out of storage i'm mad about that but i'm not so mad about that but i'm losing my mind and i'm mad about it i'm losing my mind you guys and i just can't can't i can't i, I, I can't no you guys know now nah, i'm so big anyways <laughs> i'm so sorry that we don't have to do 21 points but how about we end the video here like if you love it so much then we'll have a part two and if not like i'm not going to be our things okay so thank you so very much for watching this video please wish me a happy birthday in the comment section i love you so very much and i'm going to see you on the very next one see you then my darling please have a fantastic day bye mm -hmm. oh my love mm -hmm.